Hey guys, so I recently uh, got a uh, this uh, 2003 um, Chevy Silverado. It's a uh, extended cab. Uh, just to you know, carry heavier load because I was putting a lot of load on the uh, my small uh, Toyota Tacoma. Uh, it was really tiny and carrying you know quite a bit of battery. It's just pretty heavy. So I just picked up this used truck from my brother up in uh, Minnesota. Uh, it's uh, still pre it's in pretty good shape other than some rust just coming from uh, you know the east coast or north northeast. Uh, it's a 2003. It's only have like 70 something thousand mile on it, so it's a pretty low mileage uh, thing. Um, so I've been toying with this idea in my head for quite a while now, ever since I got the truck. Because the first thing I've noticed is uh, definitely the fuel economy is definitely. Uh, not as good as my uh, Toyota Tacoma, uh, even though it's, yeah, it's it's definitely bigger and it's a V8, so it uh, you know it's get about an average about 15 to I would say 15 to 16 mile per gallon uh, on average, so it's pretty pretty low to what I'm used to. It's actually not bad compared to the bigger trucks, but uh, still it's it's a lot more than what I'm used to in my Tacoma. So I've been toying with this idea in my head for a while now. Uh, of course, I could go ahead and convert it to fully to electric, but that would be too too crazy, and I don't have time to do that. But I was wondering if I can make it a little bit more efficient. So I've been researching online uh, for a while now that if you disconnect the alternators, uh, if you don't have the alternator maybe hooked up or running, um, you can probably gain another maybe 10%, 10 to 15% uh, efficiency. Uh, or mile per gallon if you don't have the alternator hooked up uh, hooked up or not running uh, I'm not too quite sure about that um, but unfortunately with this system I can't just you know it have this I think this hooked up to the fan and the water pump and all that so you have, you have to keep this belt so either if you remove the alternator completely uh, you still have to put a dummy Pulley, you just have to put a, a dot idle pulley here in place of the alternator for the belt system to work. But I was wondering, what if I take out this battery, replace it with some of the lithium-ion battery that I have? So I'm just looking for some of your advice because I'm not, you know, I'm not a, a an automotive mechanic, so I don't fully understand how this works. But if it's anything like my BMW, um, the way how they, de they design my BMW is it has a, uh, the alternator doesn't always run. It shuts off and then uh, it only comes on when it's needed. And then there's a little motor that's in the drivetrain, a little electric motor in the drivetrain. As soon as you let off the accelerator, it will start charging the battery instead of using the alternator to charge it. And it will only use the alternators uh, when it's desperately need power or the, the battery is going low. So that's what I was hoping to see if I can do in this setup. Um, so replace it with a lithium ion battery with more capacity. And then uh, somehow uh, either disconnect the alternator completely and remove it. Put a, an idle uh, pulley in there in place and then just charge the battery at home uh, to run all of the electronics. Uh, from my research I think it's probably need about 500 watts continuous to run the whole vehicle. Um, so I don't take long trips on this truck maybe 30 or 40 miles at a time. So I was hoping maybe I can have a battery and just charge it and the other thing is maybe add a uh, one of the solar panels like a 280 watt solar panel right across here because the width definitely fits uh, 65 inches for the width and then for lengthwise it will go only about maybe a little bit more than half of the bed and then make it race up and down uh, just so I can put stuff in and out of the trunk or the battery in and out of the trunk so I was thinking to do that so maybe with the solar panel uh, with here in Arizona, if I leave the truck outside like this and park it in the sun instead of the shade, it will keep the battery top off, and I'll only have to charge the battery once in a while uh, using the the grids. And I was thinking maybe if that can get me another, you know, if that can save me 15% uh, on fuel economy, I think it's worth it to give it a try. 
Um, a few things that I'm struggling to figure out right now is the lithium ion out of the salvage vehicle. They're 3. Point, you know, 6 cell, 3. Volt, uh, 6 volt per cell. So if I do a 3 cell setup, it will be like 12.5, you know, 12.3 volts uh, fully charged. And I was wondering if that's going to be too low for, for this. Um, now the problem with going 4 cell is I could definitely make it out of the Nissan Leaf 4 cell and that would be a lot easier for me that's what I would prefer but the problem with the 4 cell lithium ion is that they're 3.6 so time 4 you have to get them charged at like 16.4 I believe to be fully charged and I'm not sure if this can go that high uh, if, if, some, if somebody familiar with this please let me know if they, the Silverado can go up to 16 volts um, I think when I measure it, it running it only go to like maybe 14.9 14.8 um, it won't go any higher than that uh, the gauges in the vehicle said it will go it, it had the range all the way to 19 but I'm not sure you know what happened if you get it to 16 volt and I'm not, I am afraid to blow up all the electronics or damages in some way so if somebody can help me out comments below uh, any suggestion you know on my setup um, I was thinking if I leave the alternator maybe I can have the alternator hooked up in a way that had a relay set up and only allowing it to to come on uh, when I let either let go of the accelerator or you know as soon as I start braking uh, so that the alternator will come only come on uh, during those time when you kind of like um, a, a decelerator motors so I was wondering if anybody could help me out I mean I've changed alternator before but obviously I don't quite understand how everything's connected I don't know what all of these signal wires are for um, so obviously there's a ground, there's a positive right here, but I don't know what these wires are for. So if somebody can help me out, tell me what these wires are for. Are they phasing or something? They the chain let you use half of the alternator or all the alternator uh, power outputs? I don't know. I, I have no idea. So if somebody can help me out, let me know. But that's what I was thinking. Uh, Lithium-ion battery. Um, and then some way, somehow, uh, charge it from the grid uh, when it's kind of low. Uh, or just have the solar panel in the back to supplement it but I'm hoping if I add the solar panel that's 50 pounds right um, the battery probably if I go with the same amp hour probably be half the weight but I should probably double up the amp hour than what this is then it's probably going to be the same weight as this so uh, I, I don't know but uh, what do you think uh, just uh, you know post the comments below give me your thoughts I know that some of the new Rams um, trucks now today, like the 2019 or the 2020, they have the the uh, what they, they call it electric assisted motors. Um, it's kind of the same concept of what I was uh, was saying. A really small 48 volt system uh, of electric motor to give it a little boost. But obviously, I don't want to do. I don't want to make it too complicated because I'm not capable of of uh, you know fully understand the system to make it uh, that complicated but yeah I just want to see if without the alternators uh, I've read online that without the alternator people were able to get you know 15 or a little bit more than 15 percent more efficient on the fuel economy but uh, so like I said leave me a comment just let me know your thought and maybe this work and I can try it out because I do have the battery and I do have the solar panels so uh, just let me know your thought. Well, thanks for watching, guys.